Hamilton is a brand and they make syringes as well as some other products and as it says this is the measure of excellence. The syringe itself is protected in the styrofoam case. It is a delicate instrument. This syringe is a 50 microliter syringe. I can pull on the end here and there is a plunger inside that you can see. Right now I'm just pulling in air. But it should move very smoothly. The syringe will work well with any solvent, but I will recommend that you use this when you're pipetting organic solvents uh, that you can't use a micropipetter accurately. So here, use is very intuitive. I will pull up the plunger when the tip is immersed in the liquid. I can see there are air bubbles here. So I'll push this back down and try to get rid of the air bubble. Still, yeah, it's pretty good now. One more time should be it. All right. So there's a minuscule air bubble. I can compensate for that. I have to have good eyes to be able to see when I'm on the line. So right now, I have 30 microliters in the syringe. The syringe won't drip. This is methylene chloride, but it doesn't drip. So this is the advantage of using the syringe over a micropipetter. Typically, if you've only measured 30 microliters in your syringe, you want to deliver that directly into a liquid to make a solution. So here you can see I immerse the syringe tip in the liquid. Now I'll push on the plunger and there's really nowhere else the liquid in the syringe can go but into this solution right here. It is essential that you clean your syringe, otherwise its lifespan will be very short. So the recommended procedure is to rinse with three different solvents. The first solvent should be a good solvent to dissolve whatever solute you had in here. In other words, if your solution was in dichloromethane, you should probably have this be dichloromethane. If it was an ethanolic solution, make this be ethanol. You will want to put the syringe in the solvent, pull up, and eject that into a waste beaker. I'll rinse it a few times. What, what happens with the syringe is the needle gets clogged easily. So if you have a little bit of caffeine, for example, in your original solution and you don't clean it out thoroughly, then it will crystallize in the needle and the syringe will cease to function. All right, after I've rinsed thoroughly with that solvent, the second solvent is distilled water. You want the best quality water you can get. This vessel here has our best water, HPLC grade water. That's what I will ask you to use. And you notice we don't need a large volume of it. So the second rinse is distilled water. The last recommended rinse is acetone. We have some reagent grade acetone here. That's the last rinse of the syringe. After your final rinse with acetone, put it back in the styrofoam container. Uh, acetone itself will dissolve the styrofoam so make sure it's not dripping with acetone when you put it back. If you treat this well, the syringe will be good for many, many uses. And if you treat it poorly, after the first use, it will be clogged and that will be very upsetting. I did buy syringes that have a removable needle. So if your needle does get clogged, we can in this case replace the clogged needle, but it's best if you never clog it at all.